Hi, this is Minik from Boxcar Marketing with your one minute marketing tip. And today's tip is about Facebook Insights and why sometimes the Facebook Insights are difficult to understand. So the new Insights report uh, indicates a reach number. And I came across a question from uh, someone in, a, in one of the forums I belong to today who had a question about their post apparently had a reach of 29, but they have 60 people who like their page. So if they have 60 people, how come they don't have a reach of 60? So the answer to that has something to do with edge rank. Facebook has edge rank, which is sort of the same as how Google decides if your web page should appear in a list of search results or not. Google uses edge rank, which is an algorithm that looks at a combination of factors related to um, time, affinity, and weight. So I'll explain those things in a second, but basically that, that edge rank number is going to decide if your update should appear in your fan's feed or not. Um, just because they're a fan doesn't mean that they'll see your post. You are rewarded based on the level of engagement that you have with your fans, and that reward is visibility in their feed. So the reach number is really just a barometer. It's an indicator of which of your friends or fans saw your post, but also which of your fans' friends saw that post. So if you have a fan of your page and they do some type of interaction, like sharing that post, then the reach number includes the number of their friends' fans who also saw it. So just to step back to try and explain edge rank a little more closely, it's, again, affinity, weight, and, and time. So affinity is basically the kind of relationship the viewer has to the page. So if that fan interacts with you a lot, comments, posts, likes, does regular activity on your page, then they're more likely to see your post than someone who liked the page but has never come back. Weight is the second factor, and that is basically um, each type of post that you make has a different weight. So things that have a higher edge rank are status posts that include a photo or a video. And Facebook makes a determination based on the, the type of post that you're using, whether um, an application is used, like a poll or other thing. So if you're just posting text status updates, you can increase your weight by adding a photo or adding a video. Um, time is basically when your post was published and how it was initially received. So if it immediately gets a lot of attentions and comments, it's more likely to appear in the top news section um, because for people who like or have a lot of fans or um, friends, their feed gets cluttered very quickly. So your post is going to get pushed down unless it immediately gets a lot of attention, in which case it then um, pops up in the top news section. So what can you do? Well, you can ask questions in your posts in order to try to solicit some responses or interaction. You can create dialogue or discussion or debate on your page. You can ask people, um, you know, do you, if you like Valentine's Day, you know, click this link or that sounds a bit terrible. I'm thinking off the cuff. Um, but you can find ways to basically encourage, encourage that kind of interaction. And then thinking about really great content. So do you have thought-provoking questions or polls or blog posts that include infographics or things that people are likely to share? Um, those types of of pieces of content are going to help with those interactions. And then think about, think about editorial calendars so you're not stuck just if you're managing a page, oh, I have to post on this day, this day, this day. Really think about what you're posting and what your fans are, are talking about and, and provide some 
provide something interesting to that conversation in order to really get it going. So that's EdDrink. You should definitely care about it because it affects how visible your Facebook activities are. So if you're spending marketing time in Facebook, then understanding EdDrink is really important. I'm Anik from Boxcar Marketing. That is way more than a minute, but at least it's only going to be a minute for you to understand and think about how to to engage a little bit better on each Facebook post you have. All right, talk to you later. Bye.